everyone hope you are all well and doing good i really appreciate all your support and your love towards me may god support you in jesus name in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to cut princess dart blouse first of all you have to measure your bust so that will be the biggest number so when i measure my bust my bust is 39 so if i divide 39 by 4 it will give me 9.75 so i will approximate it into 10 so then i will now add 4 between 4 to 5 inches to it so if i had 5 inches to 10 inches that will give me 15 but i decided to add 6 to it so which give me 16. so you can see that the front fabric is shorter than the back fabric so what happened in this case is that the remaining fabric here which is one and a half uh, one and a half inches is for the zip one is the upper one is 16 inches then the second one is plus 1.5 inches which is 17 and a half inches for the back fabric so the half length i'll be using for the blouse is going to be 18 altogether the half inch that is here will be for the starting point so if you calculate everything together it's going to give you 19 inches but i will be starting from here that one will give us 18 inches so the half inches up here will be for the starting point let's start the measurement now first of all we are going to use our bust measurement so my own bust measurement is 39 so then we are going to use the breast point as well so the breast point will be 11 15 11 15 the bust 11 then the under bust will be 15 so we are going to measure the bust now you know i told you initially that the half inches up here will be for the starting point so we are going to start from we are going to start the measurement from here so you know i told you that the bus is 11 so which is here oh so we are going to measure 15 The waist is going to be 17. Now I'm going to roll across the line. Where's the 15? And this is the 17 for the waist. So this is the boss. Boss point. So this is the underboss and this is the waist.
my shoulder is eight inches here so i'm going to add half inch to it so that will be eight point five so under it uh, i have to measure half inch for the slope then i will measure eight for my hand pole so i will make a line So now I'm going to measure the boss point, which is four and a half. So, so now we go to under boss. So the under boss will be three and a half. Then the waist as well will be three and a half. I will connect the line together. Then I will look for the midpoint of my ham hole. So you know my ham hole is eight inches. So now the midpoint will be four inches. I will now connect the midpoint. I will connect the midpoint to the breast point that I have marked already here. Now I will connect the points together. Then I will come down under the boss point. I will measure half inches. Then I will come down under the under boss here. I will measure two inches. Two inches here. Then the waist as well. I will measure two inches. Now, I will connect all the lines together. I'll bring the line down from the middle of my armhole point. We measure two inches down or measure two inches down then i will connect the line together i will give it a slight curve We are going to connect it here. Connect under boss. I'm going to make another two inches line.
and I will connect it together here. Now, after collecting connecting all the lines, I have to cut the top fabric out. Then I cut this one out. Now you have to place the fabric. You have to put it beside, you have to put the fabric beside each other, but you have to make sure that the initial line you marked align together with this, like this, just like this. You have to make sure it's aligned. You can see my whole line here. It's aligned. You can see it. So now I will measure my body measurement forty two. So I will measure my body measurement. So I will use under the bus. So it's forty two divided by four is ten point five, and I will add three to it. So that will be 13.5. Then I will come to the waist. Then I will measure my waist. My waist measurement is 39. So 39 divided by 4 is 9.5. Then I will add 3 to it. That is 12.5. I have to connect the line together from the from honda bus to the waistline down now we are going to connect here now down to this use your cuff ruler to achieve that Then you connect this together. We can now cut it out. Now the next thing now is to cut it out. Now, it's now. This is the front part. But I've not yet cut the neckline. So now we are going to cut out the back fabric. So 
I'm going to place it on top of it. Remember, we left one and a half inches for the zip. Now we have to trace all this, the pattern here now. So it will save you from measuring the back part. You can now cut the fabric out. Now we have to cut out the the neckline so I'll be using the neck width of three inches three and a half for the depth width remember we've measured half inch for the slope at the beginning so we are going to join the half inch here to the neckline. So first of all, we are going to make the neckline. Neckline line. So this will be the neckline. So the half an inch here. Then you take a ruler. Then you join it together. Slope line. have to cut the slope line now the slant area you have to cut the neckline of the first fabric don't forget to hold the line to make the zip line Now we've cut the front and the back, so I'm going to use the cut use the dart now. So this is the half of it, so I can make a line here for the dart. Four and a half inches, so it's going to start here. So. We make it to the six inches. So this is where my inches will stop. My dots will stop. Six inches. So so this is uh, the front and the back of the blouse so I'm still going to make the neckline for the back blouse this is a come of the blouse you can see it 